Okay, remind me, necessary and proper clause. What are the, what's the reference there? Remember? One and eight are necessary. Yeah, okay. Article one, section eight, clause 18. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to start, we always start with this example, this analogy of the car and mechanic shop. Remember, people and states are represented by the car owner and the federal government is represented by the mechanic shop. Okay? Use the same idea. All right, just like last time, you, you set up a contract. You know how important that contract is. And you need to say, look, none of this funny business. I don't want you to change my car in a Ferrari. Pretty simple here, right? Here, let's look at the contract. Let's read it together. Here's what it says. Change out the brake pads on the front wheels, right? Simple stuff. That's what I want you to do. Yep, okay. So you write, sign the contract. You take your copy. He takes his copy. And uh, I don't know, you're a little bit curious. You're not totally trusting this mechanic shop. So you stick around and watch through the bay windows and watch what they're doing. Kind of, you have your nose pressed to the glass, okay? And you're watching them out there. And sure enough, right there in front of you, they start taking the wheel off of your car. Like, well, no, wait a second. You whip out your contract and say, look, right here at the top, just like we talked about last time, I authorize you to do these things. I only authorize you to change out my brake pads. And he says, well, how about we go to the bottom this time? Let's look at the bottom. And the bottom says this. I authorize the mechanic shop to do those things which are necessary and proper. Sir, if I'm going to change out your brake pads, I've got to take your wheel out. It's necessary. It's proper that I do that in order to get to, your cha to change out your brakes. And so you kind of put your tail sheepishly between your legs and walk out like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You're right. So that part at the bottom of the contract, that's similar to the necessary and proper clause. Okay, so let's read through that together. I authorize the mechanic shop to do those things which are necessary and proper. Okay, it's similar to the necessary and proper clause. It says, the Congress shall have power to make all laws that shall be necessary and proper. Now remember, the Congress is represented by the mechanic shop, right? Federal government by the, by the, by the mechanic shop. Mechanic shop shall have power to make all laws, let's change that to do those things that shall be necessary and proper. Just like Congress shall have power to, do, to make laws that shall be necessary and proper. Okay? Let's take that, that little clause and throw it down at the bottom of our contract and, and insert it there. You see how the necessary and proper clause is similar to that, to that phrase of the contract, how it works together? 